Good morning, Psalm 119, verses 17 through 24. This text will be our call to worship this Sunday morning here at Grace Point Church. This is God's word. Do good to your servant and I will live. I will obey your word. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. I am a stranger on earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times. You rebuke the arrogant who are cursed and who stray from your commands. Remove from me scorn and contempt, for I keep your statutes. Though rulers sit together and slander me, your servant will meditate on your decrees. Your statutes are my delights. They are my counselors. We're looking at the law of God and considering the law in the light of the gospel. How do we read the law? And we basically said that we look at the law three different ways. First, we say that the law is a mirror. So we look at it and we see back the reflection of who we are, a people dependent upon Christ for our salvation, because, of course, we cannot keep the law, though Christ kept it for us. Secondly, we say that the law is a restraint. That means it tells all people um, what they are and are not to do. God has commanded uh, our behavior and our conduct. And then third, the law is a guide for believers, for those who have been, who have been brought into salvation in Christ, we're new creations in Christ. How do we now conduct ourselves in this life and in this world? The law acts as a guide. So today, let's look at the second use of the law, and that is the law is a restraint, both for people who are believers and for unbelievers. God is the God of the universe. God is the moral arbiter. That means he is the one who has determined uh, all things right and wrong. Tim Keller says that God is the great says who that he's the one who has determined what is right and what is wrong. And the psalmist here acknowledges that for all people, there is a truth to that. He says in this verse, your statutes are my delights. They are my counselors. They lead me. They direct me. They guide me. They restrain me, keep me from danger and from peril. You know, you think about the law in this way is that, that, that there's a complaint that God's law is too restrictive. But the truth of the matter is God is looking out for you and for me. And uh, he is looking out to keep us safe and to keep us well. And he's given us a law that does indeed do just that. So it's important for us to understand that God has blessed us, that God has poured out his grace and his mercy upon us by giving us instructions for our life. So we must understand that believer or non-believer, nevertheless, we must understand that God indeed instructs our life and the law is a restraint in this way, keeping us from harm, keeping us from evil, keeping us focused. Now, it keeps us focused on Christ. And so if you're one of those who is an unbeliever, one of those who has not placed his faith and trust in Christ, listen, there's more to this world and there's more to interaction with God than just a restraint of behavior. There's a whole other world out there. Christ comes to us, and not only does he direct and dictate and, and extend to us the understanding of our behavior in Christ, but, but Christ comes to us also and gives us new life so that now we have a desire, a desire to, fu to fulfill God's law, a desire to seek after him, a desire to live our life according to God and to his word. And so our blessing uh, is found in this life that we've been given through Christ, engaging with God uh, reconciled to God, enjoying life with God, and God's given us the direction and the path in which we should conduct our life.